Uh, RTX 2060, 12 gigabyte, any mining review? I don't have one yet. Did they launch? They did, didn't they? I'll be honest, I spent all my money on 6600 yesterday. Jeez, Louise, they did launch, but there's no way I can afford one. Or wait, did they? They haven't launched yet. I don't know. Whatever. Graphically challenged. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess... There was a review seven hours ago. Okay. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and hop into this review right here. Um, I know everybody just left, but let's go ahead and talk about this. Apparently, uh, tech spot, more VRAM, but for who? NVIDIA RTX 2060, 12 gigabyte review targeting miners. Today we're taking a look at the new GeForce RTX 2060, you know, the 12 gigabyte model that gamers were hoping would help solve the GPU shortage. I didn't think that was true. Well, I suspect most of you didn't have high hopes on that one. And those that did have probably already lost hope. That's because after the official announcement three weeks ago, there's basically no stock to be had. And the very few you can find at retail are grossly overpriced even when compared to the six gigabyte models. As of writing, it is possible to purchase a 6 gigabyte RTX 3060 from retailers like Newegg for $620, which is 80% premium over the $350 they sold for back in 2019. We could find a single 12 gigabyte model on offer for $830. That's a 34% premium over existing 6 gigabyte cards. It is a similar story in other markets where we checked. Yeah, and that's what I see. I can't, I can't look. Here's the deal. I have, I could purchase the RX 6600s in, like I got five of them for $4.99 a pop. It makes more sense than paying $830 for a 12 gigabyte 2060 to me, but um, let's go ahead and, and keep going. Uh, however, we're mistaken, mistaken thinking that they cared about gamers, the customers that got them where they are today. Okay, we get it. You're attacking miners tech spot. After all, there are businesses. Uh, there, these are businesses, and their main objective is making money, maximize profits, and please shareholders. Look, guys, Nvidia released LHR cards to reduce mining performance, so they clearly do care. Is it worth doing LHR BIOS locks on old hardware? Probably not. Uh, that's the only reason I think that they don't have them, right? Uh, but put simply, the RTX or the 12 gigabyte RTX 2060 was never intended to be sold to gamers. Instead, Nvidia is looking to capitalize on the current situation, increasing supply to miners. I haven't seen this. Like the the GPU that's selling to miners primarily right now from Nvidia is the A2000, which is a data center card, and they aren't like. I'm not hearing of people building 12 gigabyte RTX 2060 rigs. So the shortage just seems to be for everybody and it does it seems like you have a better luck of building rigs with the A2000 than you do of the RTX 2060. So I don't think that they intended for this to be a mass bulk sell to miners. I don't think that that's true at all. I feel like this this article's not like just wants to complain about it. Um yeah, they're just complaining about it. What where's the review? All right, before we jump into benchmarks, let's quickly go over the 12 gigabyte RTX 2060 specs as we, uh, as well as the test system. Unlike the original six gigabyte card, the 12 gigabyte version features 2,176 CUDA cores, which is the same amount as the 2060 Super, which would make it a 2060 Super, but with more VRAM. But there's more to it. Unlike the 2060 Super, which uses a 256 bit wide memory bus, the 12 gigabyte 2060 uses the same 
192-bit bus of the original 2060, reducing the memory bandwidth from 448 gigabytes a second to just 336 gigabytes a second, a 25% reduction, which directly affects mining. So if NVIDIA was building this GPU to target miners, they wouldn't reduce the memory bandwidth tech spot. Are you dense? Do you not know how this works? Do you just want to use this article to complain about miners without actually even understanding the technology that is being used to mine? Like, what the heck? This is an infuriating article and is completely off base. And there is no way I would buy a 2060 12 gigabyte right now for mining other than to make a review on the channel. Okay, we already talked about this before, but um, this is, it just doesn't make sense. Did they test mining? Stupid. It's not even better in gaming. It's a pointless card. It's a B stock. They're just trying to get rid of cards. I'm done. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That article is ridiculous. Don't believe it, guys. Miners are not going out and buying RTX 2060 12 gigabyte variants over RTX 2060 supers. They aren't. I don't see that happening. It doesn't make any sense. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.